today let's take up the top topic of circular cues i've already done uh, all the uh, sessions in cues uh, relating to the linked cues and uh, the array implementation of cues now let's see how the circular cues work now the concept for insertion and deletion the circular cues the same as your normal cue that is insertion happens at the end of the cue and deletion is from the beginning of the cue now here you need to understand the difference between a circular cue and a normal cue when we talk about a circular cue uh the problem of the unutilized space is overcome in this uh, circular cues that is uh, even if one of the elements is uh, not filled it is empty then you can put some value into that that is that can be filled right so supposing i have a queue like this let's see uh, here let's supposing i have a queue here 1 2 3 4 5 let's say and uh, i'll put some values in this uh, let's say this is uh, 15 20 30 25 supposing it's like this i have got three elements in this queue so when these three elements are there this will be your front and this will be your rear right so i'm just explaining it first then we will write the algorithm for this now when you want to insert one more element let's say you want to insert a element into this place now there are two uh, spaces which are free here right so when i want to insert a element let's say i want to put the element 30 here right so now what happens is i'll put rear as r rear becomes equal to rear plus 1 so basically rear moves to this this is a simple one right so here now the rear is here now again one more space is there now i want to insert one more element say 35 then again the same thing happens r is equal to rear is equal to rear plus 1 and it moves to this so now i have the front here and the rear at this place right so now the queue is full right so at this point of time i can't put any more elements into the queue now let's say we delete an element from the queue so when you delete an element from the queue the element that will be deleted is this this 15 will get deleted right and when this 15 gets deleted what will happen this front will move from this place to this place right so front comes here right so now what happens this 15 this space from where you deleted this becomes free so your front is at this place here now right and rear is here now in a normal queue you cannot utilize this space right but in a circular queue now i can utilize this space now you see when you want to insert one more element here right after this there is nothing right rear is basically equal to let's say rear in this case is equal to size minus 1 right size minus 1 but there is a space in the front so now what we can do is i can do a insertion i can insert one more value here and what will happen is see this is the zeroth subscript of the array right 0 1 2 3 4 like this right so what will happen is now rear will get shifted to zero so here when you do this rear will become equal to zero so this rear which is at this place now this rear gets shifted to this place we get this so now where is front front is here at this point and rear is here 
so again at this particular point the queue is full here we can't do any insertions anymore so if there is a condition like the front is equal to rear plus 1 front is equal to rear plus 1 that means the queue is full fine and the other i'll put it here the next page if front is equal to rear plus 1 what does that mean that means that the queue is full or i'll say overflow overflow nothing can be inserted there is no space right okay one more condition like the first one when i when i showed you this i made a uh, array like this and here 1 2 3 4 5 let's say now i have elements at all these places let's say 1 2 3 4 5 like this front is here and rear is here this is also a case of overflow because we don't have any space so for that the condition is front is equal to 0 front is equal to 0 and rear is equal to n minus 1 supposing i take n is the size of the array let's say so n minus 1 this is also a case of overflow meaning nothing can be inserted fine and as i showed you the simplest case wherein you have the space to be inserted then you just do a rear is equal to rear plus 1 this is the condition which i showed here supposing you have something like this this is your rear this is your front fine so in this case you just say r is equal to r plus 1 and keep on moving the rear like this right okay the other condition is when you have uh, elements in the array now here let's say you have something like this 3 4 5 5 now what is rear rear is here and front is at this place right so here you have uh, two spaces in the beginning which can be utilized right uh, so here what do you have to check is if rear is equal to n minus 1 if rear is equal to n minus 1 you have already check we will be already uh, checking for the earlier conditions like uh, the condition of overflow that i showed here this will already be uh, checked so if you have something like this if rear is equal to uh, sorry not this one if rear is equal to n minus 1 in that case what you will do is you will shift the rear to the zeroth position here right so now what will happen rear will become equal to 0 you will insert one more here so now this is front and rear gets shifted to this place we understand this rear is this is not the rear now right rear is at this place right this is one uh, possibility and the other one is if the queue is empty right so the first time uh, when you make the queue there is nothing in the queue so uh, that is when uh, front is equal to null right if front is equal to null that means the queue is empty right so in that case you will write front is equal to 0 rear is equal to 0 so this is uh, here you can check for this condition also if if front is equal to equal to null in that case you put front also is equal to 0 and rear also is equal to 0 that is the first element that you will be inserting into the queue right so this is basically the logic behind the uh, insertion in a circular queue wherein we don't leave any space unutilized if there is any space unutilized we can insert the values into that fine so any any possibility you can take supposing you have uh, something like this right suppose you have uh, here this uh, let's say 
you have 3 here right 4 5 6 like this right now there is one space which is here right now what it means is this is your front and this is your rear understood so now you have a space at this place fine so you can do rear is equal to rear plus 1 in this case right so we will be taking up the algorithm proper algorithm for this and then the program for this uh, circular key implementation for insertion and uh, when we do the algorithm and the program uh, you will be understanding it in a much better way so in my next session I will give you the algorithm and also the C++ program for the insertion so with that I come to the end of this session wherein I have just explained the concept of the circular queue insertion and how the circular queue actually works with that I come to the end of this session bye